There are tons of different tires out there. From the ultra-wide treadless Formula One to the massive 4 meter tall tires of the Belaz mining truck. I think it's pretty fair to say that whatever tire you choose will have a big impact on how your vehicle performs. Although in Stormworks we don't have quite as many options to customize, we still have a fair few settings to deal with. Namely tire pressure, tire grip, and whether you want to maximize for speed, grip, or both. In this video, I tested nearly all the possible combinations and tried to answer the question which tire setup is actually the best for your vehicle. To do this, I built a custom circuit that goes around the military island, and ran three different tests to determine which combinations perform the best under which conditions. Firstly, there's top speed, probably the most important one of them all. Then I tested how far up a curved ramp the car would climb. Finally, although this one is less subjective, I tested how well I thought the car handled around the track. First off, before we can even start testing anything, we need to design and build our very own test center. The military island works the best because it has a large level concrete area, three wide open sections of track, and a circular layout that contains everything we need in a relatively small space. This loop right here seems to be perfect for what we intend to do. It has two open sections for top speed, one treacherous corner and a thin section that will give any car with less than spectacular handling a hard time. To build our circuit we need to use the mission editor and assemble a series of barriers. First we need a straight ramp to show the edge of the road. We can give it some flair with a red and white color scheme. We also need an inside and outside corner piece to define corners. It would also help to add a couple concrete sections to make the corners easier to take. Finally, just to add some realism, I'll add some bridges and some supports to hold them up. I have to admit, before starting this project I wasn't so great at driving, so I spent some time racing around the track and trying to improve my skills. This is the Astral C21, built by 404 Gordon Not Found. With some minor modifications, we'll use it to test how the settings of the tires have an impact on its top speed. With a mass of around 1,200, this can be considered a lightweight vehicle, but its maneuverability and control fins give it an upper hand on the track. For this test, I lined up the car at the starting line. I stopped exactly when the shadow of the bridge started revealing the dashboard. Then floored it until the car reached the finish line at the end of the runway. The top speed was being recorded as the car traveled forward. As for the tire settings, I split each up into six values. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So for every value of tire grip, I tested every value of pressure. The spreadsheet that I set up looks like this. There's only one problem with this though. When either grip or pressure was at 1%, the car was barely able to move. So I excluded each one of those cases and started testing at at least 20% for both. What I found was expected and also quite interesting. It turns out that tire pressure has pretty much no effect on the top speed of the car, so testing the same grip at different pressures reveals basically no difference. I'll talk a little more about tire pressure later, and in which cases it should be maximized or minimized depending on your vehicle. At 20% grip, the Astral was able to accelerate to 143.5 km on the runway. The main thing that stopped it from advancing further was that at a high speed, there wasn't enough grip to pull the car forward faster and eventually it settled at a velocity of around 144 km an hour. This was on all round tires though, and changing the optimization setting made a huge difference. Since the main con was the grip, switching the tires to prioritize speed only worsened the result. In this case, the Astral was barely able to crack the triple digits, maxing out at 110 km an hour. Once I replaced said tires with high grips, the top speed shot up to 171.5 km an hour. 44% faster than the worst case and 18% faster than the median. As the grip setting increased to 40%, there was a predictable rise in top speed. The record on all rounds was 215 km per hour, almost 100 more than when the wheels had 20% less grip. On high speeds, the top speed came out to 171, a notable 22% decrease. And on high grips, the top speed went up 9% to 236. After that, the top speed stayed the same all the way from 60 to 100% grip. Putting on high speed tires didn't hurt or help. 
and interestingly enough, putting on all grips resulted in a loss of 3.5%. I suspect that at this point, the car had all the grip it needed to get up to 240 km an hour, and maximizing the tires for it didn't help at all. At that point, it's likely that the problem with speed requires more different solutions, like a different gearbox, or a more powerful engine. So after taking this out to the longer track on the mainland, I was able to get the car to go faster. Eventually, both high speed and high grip tires managed to get the Astral to around 257 kilometers an hour. The high speed ones were skidding out while doing it, but the high grip ones were not. This indicates that during my test, the car was not given enough distance to accelerate to its true top speed. At 257 kilometers an hour, the only thing holding the Astral back was its gearbox. It was maxing out the RPS on the 7th gear with nowhere else left to go. All in all, speed and grip optimized tires are both great, just that the former accelerates faster because the tires encounter less resistance upon launch. The high grips don't spin out as easily and take longer to get the car moving. Now it's time to look at the results of the uphill test. For this, I built a curved ramp with equally spaced markers. No pun intended. The premise was that a vehicle would roll up the ramp and stop once its wheels were halfway on it. Then, from a standstill, it would accelerate up the ramp and I would record how far it could reach. However, the same car we used for top speed experiment would not work with this test. Instead, we'll be using the very well designed Muddy Buggy built by Ampopin. The main reason for the switch being the clearance of the buggy. With its big tires and relatively short wheelbase, it has no trouble advancing where the Astral would surely fail. So, as you would expect, the tires with the most grip performed the best, and pressure once again did not have any impact on the reached height of the vehicle. It would be better for you to put the pressure to 100% though, because it adds clearance. Anyways, at only 20% grip, the buggy made it around 7 and 3 quarters of the way up the ramp. Not bad, but also severely lacking. On any real missions, it would handle awfully. At 40%, our maximum increased by 18% to 9 and 1 quarter, a pretty big improvement. At 60% grip, we reached 10 on the scale, improving by less than half of last time. At 80%, we only gained half a mark, reaching 10 and a half on the total scale. And at 100%, we gained another half point, getting us up to a grand total of 11 on the ramp. Not bad. Finally, those were the numbers for the all round tires. With high speeds, we only achieved 10 and a quarter marks on the scale, and maximizing for grip allowed for a tiny increase of a quarter, bringing the maximum to 11 and a quarter. At that steep of a slope though, I'm not surprised we only gained a small amount. So long story short, it's really only the grip setting that truly matters. Tire pressure pretty much just determines how low your car sits to the ground, which is very important in fast cars, however. A low sitting frame means a lower center of gravity, giving the car better handling characteristics since it sticks closer to the road and is less likely to flip over. For off-road vehicles, I would set the pressure to 100% to maximize ground clearance. Personally, I did actually prefer the feel of the lower pressure wheels than the higher ones on the Astral. I also found the high grip optimization to be the best for handling. This was likely because they came out of a skid quicker. If you're looking for faster acceleration, try all rounds or high speeds. And obviously you should probably set your grip to 100% because there's really no reason not to. So that was the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. In case you're still watching, I'll update you on a few changes to the channel since my last upload. Firstly, we got our very own Discord server running. And by we, I mean my friend Chris Boy and I. Big thanks to him for the support and we will be over there if you ever want to talk about Stormworks or just chat. Secondly, I recently unlocked the community page on my channel. This means from now on I can post updates on YouTube about what I'm currently up to, and what video will be coming out next. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in two weeks.